Hi, Martin here, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a class notebook in OneNote. Go through all the steps, give an overview, so by the end of the video, you'll be ready to start creating and using your own class notebooks. So let's get started. So just briefly, first thing, what is a class notebook? Well, a class notebook is part of OneNote. Um, each one includes a content library. Um, it has a shared collaboration space, and it also provides a space for each student where they can do their own work. Uh, there are two ways to create a class notebook within OneNote. One is via the online version of uh, OneNote, and the other is via Teams. So let's go ahead and take a look at creating a class notebook using OneNote online. So the first thing that you'll need to do is uh, sign into Class Notebook. So if you do a search for Class Notebook um, and then use the login that's been provided, uh, most likely by your school, but essentially it needs to be your uh, Microsoft account login. So once you've logged in, you'll be greeted with a screen that looks like this one here. So go ahead and type uh, or select Create a Class Notebook and then you need to give your name a class. So this is the name of your notebook. So I'm just going to call this one my test class and go next. So after that, it will then ask you or essentially will then inform you what areas it's going to create. So the collaboration space, the content library, the teacher only section and the student notebooks. So go ahead and select next. If you have any other teachers that you would like to be a part of this notebook, you can add them here. Um, when it comes to teachers and students, you can add them now or you can add them at any point in the future. So if you're not sure at this point in time, just leave that blank and hit next. Same with student names. So if you, um, you can type or you can paste them uh, as long as they're separated by semicolons and you can add them to the class notebook. So for now, I'm just gonna skip over this and you can always add students later on. So here it says design private spaces. So this is the individual section for students. So they'll have their own section of the OneNote and within that, it creates automatically creates these four sections, handouts, class notes, homework and quizzes. So you can get rid of these default uh, and you can also add your own section. So if you know how you want students' um, areas divided up, you can edit this area here. For now, I'm just gonna keep the default and hit next. So this now gives you a preview of what it's going to look like. So you're gonna have these welcome, test class, collaboration space, content library, and teacher only. So if I go ahead and click create, it might take a couple of minutes to get created. Um, once it is created, you'll have the areas that you specified, you'll have the name that you specified, and obviously any teachers or students that you've added will be added as well. So let's jump back in once this is finished. Okay, so it's been a couple of minutes and my class notebook has finished being created. So I'm gonna go ahead and click uh, open it in OneNote online. And you'll see that my uh, notebook has now been created. So I've got my welcome area, my collaboration space, my content library, and my teacher only section. So that is how you go and create a class notebook using uh, OneNote online. So let's jump over to Teams and then I'll show you how to create one if you already have your class team set up. Okay, so if you're working in a school um, where they are using class notebooks and OneNote, um, it's also likely that they'll be using Teams as well. So it may be that the classes that you're teaching, the Teams are set up for you. Um, so if that's the case, what you can then do is automatically create a class notebook that is connected up with your team. So in order to do that, what you wanna do is um, head over to the, your team that you want to create a class notebook for. And then on this first page, you can see here we have set up class notebook. You can also access that by hitting class notebook at the top. So let's go ahead and click on set up class notebook. And then set up a OneNote class notebook. So you now have two options. You can create a blank notebook or 
if you would like to create your uh, class notebook that's based on an existing one, so it could be can maybe connected to another class, then you would go ahead and select from existing notebook. For now, I'm going to go ahead and assume that we're creating a notebook from scratch, and we're going to click blank notebook. So you can see from the previous way that we created a notebook, this is all very similar. So this is telling us the sections it's going to create. Then it's asking what we want in the uh, student's private space. And again, it's the same options here. You can obviously edit as you see fit. So we're going to hit create. Again, that's going to take uh, a couple of minutes to get going. So we'll jump back in once that's completed. It's been a couple of minutes and our class notebook uh, within Teams has been created. So um, once it's created, there's a few different ways that you can view and edit your class notebook. You can do it directly inside of Teams. So you can go to your con uh, collaboration space, content library, teacher only, uh, student sections, all within Teams. Um, if you go up uh, to this button up here where it says open in browser, you can open it in the desktop app, which is uh, if you have access to it, it's a great way to edit your OneNotes. Um, you'll also only need to open it up once in the desktop app and then you'll be able to access it directly from there um, every time. Or you can hit open in browser and open it up um, in your web browser as well. So now you can see I've got my class notebook that I created connected to Teams. I've got my class notebook that I created online. So either method you use, you can see that they are exactly the same. Um, one of the great benefits of creating a class team that is, uh, or sorry, a class notebook that is connected to a team is that the students that have been added to Teams, or if you've given out team code and had students join your team, they'll automatically be added to the class notebook as well. So uh, it's quite a simple way to get teachers, students, all accessing the class uh, notebook without having to add uh, additional names. So once your OneNote uh, is set up, you may or may not be familiar with OneNote generally. So I'm just going to give a quick overview of how OneNote and how the class notebook is set up. So essentially, OneNote is set up like a book, and it's the same as the class notebooks. So you have the notebook itself, so we're inside of the test class notebook. Then you have different sections, which are almost like different chapters, and then within these sections, then you have your pages, okay? So the main sections, there's four main sections that you have within a class notebook, and they are the content library, the teacher only section, student private space, and the collaboration space. So um, the content library is probably one of the most important. This is where all of your content for your course will go. So um, you can go ahead and add sections in here. So I might go uh, something like term one, and then you might go all the content for term one is within here, and then I can go um, 1.0 and then have my uh, first topic as my page. So one thing I like to do, and obviously it doesn't really matter, uh, you have to set this up how you want to. Sometimes I like using a numbering system here, so it's clear the order that students should be going through these pages. So I'll have uh, 1, 1.1, 1 1.2, all within the term, and then maybe 2.0, 2.1 for term two. Um, another way that you could set it up is just by using topics in the section. So each section is a different topic. Um, and then within that, or you have uh, your various pages uh, and lessons inside. But really how you set up your content is up to you uh, and obviously uh, a decision between yourself uh, and your school as well. Um, so that's your content library. This is where you, again, you go and you create a section, your page, give your page a title. Um, you can go ahead and um, add in things like uh, images onto there. You can go ahead and add some resources. So I've got a PowerPoint here, so I'm going to put that in there as well. Um, I'm also looking to have a, a video that's going to explain, so I can copy and paste the link to that as well. All of that is going to be added onto my OneNote, and then I can go in, I can rearrange things how I would like them to be. So really powerful, really useful, allows you to really structure your content well. 
Um, the next section is the teacher only section, and this is exactly the same as the content library. You create your sections, your pages, it's where you can put your resources, except as the name suggests, this is just for you as a teacher. So students can't access this area at all. So it's great for creating your content, and then when you're happy with it, or when you want the students to view it, you can copy it up into the content library. So I find that I will create my lessons uh, here in the teacher only section. Then when we get to that topic, I'll copy it up into the content library. The next space, which isn't actually shown on here because we haven't added any students, is the student private space. We spoke about it briefly earlier, but this is an area where they can, um, so they can copy information from the content library. So I might have this here, add some questions in at the bottom. They can go ahead and uh, copy this page into their area, so maybe into their class notes, and then they can write all over it and they can answer questions in there. The great benefit is that every student you have will have their private space here. You just can click and straight away you can go in and see if they've done the work that they're supposed to be doing. So it's a lot easier than, say, having them all create a Word document that they have to email to you and then you have to open. The final section is the collaboration space. So this essentially is a space that both uh, teacher and students can all uh, not only access but edit as well. So if you're looking at having a class discussion and you want everyone to write their ideas down that you can all share, this is where you can get students to really do some collaborative work. So that is a very brief overview of the class notebook. The main aim of this video is to help get your class notebook uh, created um, and just give a quick overview on how it's set up and how you can go ahead and create your courses, resources, and really start to utilize this class notebook feature from OneNote. So I hope that it has been useful. If it has, please consider a like uh, and subscribing for more videos. I'll see you next time.